Hey guys, ViscosCom24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to build this. It is my compact, survival-friendly 8x8 cave door. So as you can see, it all closes. When I go on over to the back, you can see I didn't give it a backside, but this was just so that I could keep it small and cheap. When I go back on over to the front, I click the lever again, it also all opens. The opening does take a little bit longer than the closing, but I'm still pretty happy with the speed overall. It's 16 blocks wide, 17 blocks tall, and 8 blocks deep. So there's a volume of 2,176 blocks. I think this is actually pretty small considering how cheap it is. And uh, yeah, I guess without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So to get started, you're going to want to put down two blocks, three blocks to either side, and then build seven to the back. Pick out these two blocks and put three obsidian. Same thing on the other side. Two obsidian there and there. Now put down three blocks, three blocks, and then slime underneath these. This is your slime layout for the doubles and triples. Put down some temporary blocks and then your three pistons for the triples. Temporary blocks there and there, and then your pistons for the doubles. Once you've got that, put obsidian there and there. Temporary block, or actually just a block, and then three obsidian. Put a temporary block there, and then have three sticky pistons facing up, just like so. Piston facing in, and then redstone blocks in that order. Go down here, put in three blocks of choice. Three slime, and then put in the four pistons for your quad. So you got that. You can put in for now two sticky pistons, observers facing up, then four um, normal pistons, four observers running into blocks, sticky pistons there and there with observers facing up and then your two normal pistons and now your normal pistons there and there this whole thing down here is the floor flattening bit and it can be a bit awkward to put in later so just put everything in for now once you've done that put in some blocks your two sticky pistons facing up and then your entire bottom layout is completed except for the front Put two blocks there and there sticky pistons facing up right next to them and then go down here some four blocks, four dust. This is your input line. Put two blocks there and two blocks there. Two repeaters facing in there. And then place your dust. There you are. Put a little crosshair of blocks. And then a one tick repeater. Crosshair of blocks and one tick repeater. And go over to your doubles and triples. Put a V like so. Block down, two blocks, and another block down. One tick, two tick, one tick, and then two four tick repeaters. These four ticks will lock that two tick. Put an observer facing up and in. Block down with a two tick repeater to lock that one tick. And then three blocks down, block up, three more blocks down. Go over here. Put obsidian, block, and then an observer facing up, in, and then one more obsidian. One tick, one tick, two blocks, and then a four tick and a three tick. These repeaters will lock that one. Put two blocks and then glass. Dust on all of these. Go over here, put a block down, up, block there, and there. One tick repeater. And then you can put dust there and there. Torch. Glass. Block up and down. Then a piston facing down right there. With a torch. Dust. And then a four tick repeater. Put a dispenser or a dropper. And then a one tick repeater running into it. Block up and down. One tick repeater. Two blocks down. Two blocks up. An observer facing up and in. 
lock, lock right there, and then you can put a repeater there and there, both on one tick. You can put a block right there for dust, then a torch, two blocks, and then an obsidian block, a piston facing down into it, four tick repeater and a one tick repeater, dust, or not dust, torches there and there, block. Now put an observer facing down right there, three running out from it, and then another three running out from it on this side. Those should activate both those pistons once it once they get fired, just like so. As you heard, there was all your floor flattening going. Block, and then a dust. Believe it or not, once you do that, that should be almost all of this side done. The only difference here is that this side hasn't activated that piston yet, so your quad won't be quite finished, but you do have the extension of the triple and almost the entire extension of the quad. And as you saw, it didn't completely flatten the floor. There's this bit here. And the way you do that is you put an observer running into a block with dust on it. Now to get onto this side, you can put down your little V. Two blocks, block, and then a block. Get it repeaters. One tick, two tick, one tick. Then two, four ticks. Get out your observers. You have an observer facing up there and there. Then observers facing in. Two obsidian blocks, and then a block of choice, one tick, one tick, then your three tick and your four tick. Block, block, two tick repeater to lock the one tick. Then your two blocks down, block up, three more down, two blocks there and there. Dust along all of these. Two blocks, two dust. Torch, block, block up, block down. Piston facing down with a torch on top. Four tick repeater and then dust. You can also run this line into that piston. And now what you should see when you flick your lever is, uh, well I need to do that, there you are. Both sides are now in, flick it once more. It all retracts, and to get in the floor flattening for this last piston, observer, block, dust. Just like so. Now, onto the walls. Start off by placing two blocks, then one more block there. A torch tower, and then a repeater running into that block. Put down eight blocks of choice three blocks of choice, and then an obsidian, six more blocks of choice, four more obsidian, and now you can mirror the bottom to the top. There we are, just like so. Put four blocks of choice, four slime behind them, two temporary blocks, and then the three pistons for your triple. Now you can put in the pistons for your doubles. and put six pistons, just like so. Get out sticky piston, put a sticky piston facing in right there, and then a temporary block and a piston facing in right there. Believe it or not, this is the entire layout for your sides done. Continue your torch tower up. There we are. Two blocks, an obsidian, and then break out that um, piston temporarily to place an observer facing down. Block, get out your repeaters. Two tick, one tick, three dust, just like so. Block down and up, then an obsidian. Get out your observers again. Put an observer facing down right there. Two tick, block, two dust. Then a four tick repeater running into there. Go down here, put a block there and there. Obsidian, one tick repeater and then a torch. Eight blocks, just like so. Two four tick repeaters, then a four tick and a one tick, dust there and there. And take the output from that obsidian block and run it into this piston right here. And put a container with something in it. I'm gonna use a cauldron with water for the time being. And then get out your comparators, put a block there and there, and then the comparator right there. 
go over here, put down three blocks, put a dust, then four tick for Peter and a one tick, torch, piston facing down, and then observer facing into this block, dust, and then two sticky pistons, two observers, and then you can go in here, place that piston, and then fill in your wall. Believe it or not, when you flick your lever, you will see that your wall is all done. It all extends, and when you flick it once more, it all retracts. Now to mirror, to mirror it to the other side. Place down those blocks. Three, obsidian. Six, four more obsidian, and then you can mirror it. Place four blocks just like so. Then place these four uh, slime blocks. Put in the pistons for your triple and the pistons for your doubles. Place in the pistons to flatten your walls. There we go. Sticky piston. Sticky piston. Continue your torch tower up, block there and there, obsidian, break that out, and observer facing down, two tick repeater, and then a one tick block right there, and then your three dust, block down and up, obsidian, get out your observers, put an observer facing down right there, two tick repeater, four tick repeater, block your two dust, get on here, place down a block there and there with an obsidian block, one tick repeater, and then a torch, eight blocks, and repeaters, take your output, then your sticky piston with a container, and then a comparator reading it. Go over here, put down those three blocks, put down a four tick repeater and a one tick, a dust, and then a torch. Piston facing down with an observer facing in on its face, block, dust, then your two sticky pistons with their observers facing in. Go in here, replace that normal piston, and then fill in the rest of your wall. And now when you flick your lever, you should see your, you have your other side done as well. It all closes. When you flick it once more, it all opens and the walls become flat again. To get started on your ceiling, first start off by building in this back um, layer. Break out these three blocks and place obsidian. Put a obsidian block there. That'll be used later. Then use it to place in these three sticky pistons. Break out those three blocks, sticky piston facing in, and then your redstone blocks in that order. Now you can place three obsidian and then three more obsidian, just like so. Three blocks of choice, three slime, and then the pistons for your quad. There we go. Place in your two normal pistons facing down, and then replace that obsidian. Now put Blocks there, obsidian, block, obsidian, and then you can place in one more obsidian. There, there. Obsidian, block, obsidian, another obsidian. Two blocks, two blocks, and then two more. Slime above all of these. Then put sticky pistons facing down. Then sticky pistons facing down. These should be that should be it for your triples. Then your double piston extenders. Normal pistons facing down there and there. Two uh, sticky pistons facing down there and there. Six more normal pistons facing down all along there. Now you can fill in the blocks. 
and then you'll have just two more pistons for your bottom or not your bottom your top layout it's a temporary block there sticky piston temporary block sticky piston there you go now your layout for the top is ready over here torch block torch the top and side block obsidian obsidian one tick one tick two blocks and then a three tick and a four tick there we are and place two blocks and then dust on both of them over here place an observer facing down you can do the same thing over on this side one tick repeater facing that way one tick repeater facing that way and place in your observers facing in little V of blocks and then a two tick repeater two four tick repeaters to lock them three blocks dust on all of them just like so block there there and then there and there dust two tick repeater to lock the one tick and then you can run in dust into these blocks two one tick repeaters running into those blocks there you are go over here and you can quickly put in an obsidian block block of choice although before placing that block of choice put a dust there you go block of choice should look like a little zigzag with an obsidian block there four tick repeater and a two tick and then you can run your dust in just like so once you've got that done take in a, a repeater output take it out from there observer facing down then a one tick repeater and observer facing in have a block then you can make a repeater output have it running out from there into a one tick repeater and now you can run in your dust into these just like so and now you're going to want to put down a four tick repeater and a three tick then dust dust block and then a dust put two dust there and then a block just like so now what you should see when you flick your lever is you will get the triple piston extender extending as well as the quad extending three times once more we haven't done this side so you don't have the full extension but we're almost there click it once more and it will all retract and I forgot to place in a block of obsidian just like that give it one more click and it should now retract there you are, there you are. once you've got that you can take an observer output from that piston another one four tick repeater running into a block block down block there to cut off that dust two more blocks one tick repeater you can put another one tick repeater there temporarily two observers four tick repeater three blocks dust and then your two blocks there and there put two dust and then two three tick repeaters running into those two blocks this will flatten the floor on your quad and now let's get on to wiring this side so start off by putting in your torches one two three block two obsidian one tick one tick two blocks three ticks and a four tick two more blocks and then dust an observer facing down right there observer facing down right there one tick one tick and you can put your observers facing in your little V of blocks and then a two tick have four tick repeaters running into that to lock it and then three blocks with dust on them oh. block right there and now you can put in three blocks dust on those two and a two tick repeater to lock it and then you can run in your dust And quickly fix that running your dust into here just like so and then you can put your little zigzag of blocks once more dust two tick four tick and then your dust and once you've got that believe it or not that should be your door completely finished so you can see the top all extends click lever once more which should all retract though let me see i might have messed up the timing I accidentally set that four tick repeater back to one tick. So fix that and 
we go. And there it all goes. It retracts. Need to replace this obsidian, of course. And there you are. So yeah, that's just about it for the build. I hope this comes in useful for some of you. Um, I tried my hardest to make it as survival friendly as possible. So uh, yeah, that's just about it for this video. I'm Viscoscom24 and I'll see you next time.